Well, welcome everybody. Today we come together to support and give recognition to Belmont's LGBTQ community. It is my hope that this day will help to begin to promote a stronger community through understanding and through acceptance. Belmont is one of the most beautiful places in the world. But truly, truly beauty of a community only continues to shine if the hearts of its citizens are open to acceptance and to understanding. To be able to embrace our diversity and to create a safe and supportive community for all of its citizens. And though this is not a day to celebrate a rain rainbow crosswalk, make no mistake, this rainbow bench is a strong symbol of acceptance in this community for the LGBTQ. This bench is not only a rainbow of colors, it is also a rainbow of words. The words that represent each color. I believe that people will read the words and become interested enough to educate themselves, as I did, about the origin of these colors and the words, about the LGBTQ community. Because in my opinion, most prejudice comes from a lack of knowledge. The creation of this bench began as a simple gesture on the part of myself and the gathering tree to give recognition to the LGBT community. But this journey took me so much deeper. I found myself being educated in a way I did not expect. From the original creation of the rainbow flag in 1978 by Gilbert Baker, a San Francisco artist, to the Supreme Court rulings that sexual orientation is an enumerated ground for protection from discrimination to the 2005 legislation of same-sex marriages. But unfortunately, that progress, human rights abuses still occur all too often in Canada. From stigmatization and bullying to denial of family rights and recognition to discrimination in health care, jobs and housing, this is the reality of living within the LGBT community. And so I realize that I am just facilitating the energy to create this bench. The rainbow bench may sit on the Gathering Tree patio, but it truly is the LGBTQ's bench. And I am humbled to be a part of its creation. I'd like to close now with a quote from Ellen DeGeneres. She said, find out who you are and be that person. That's what your soul was put on this earth to do, to be. Find that truth, live that truth, and everything else will come. And now I'd like to invite Mandy, would you like to come up first? Gail? I don't know what else to do. You're going to come and give a talk? Yeah, sure. So it's a short one, folks. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Kylie. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, myself and Mandy would like to thank Cheryl for this amazing bench. Let it be a representation of the acceptance and welcoming of diversity in this community. Not just for LGBTQ2 plus people and their allies, but for everybody that feels different. This bench shows tourists and visitors that you are welcome, no matter your colour, race, sexuality, or gender identification. And it reminds the locals that our differences are what makes us the awesome community that we are. It shows anyone struggling with their differences, be you young or old, that it's okay, you are welcome, you are not alone, and that there is a place for you here. You are amongst friends that will cheer you on, will embrace you, 
and we'll be there for you when you need us. Thanks again. All right, good morning, everyone. I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to Cheryl and to the Gathering Tree. And I'm hoping that your kindness for the community doesn't go unnoticed. For the people that have been opposed to having a symbol such as this, I came out when I was 19 years old. My family didn't take it as well as I, as I had hoped. I was in college, and I was dating a woman who I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. My family... had left me, and until she started to abuse me, I didn't understand. why the universe was doing this to me. I thought that the universe was against me. I had come out of the closet. I had upset my family and this was my punishment. I lost my close friends. I lost everyone that I loved. One day her and I were biking down the street of the city we had lived in. We were stopped by a man who looked like he was looking for directions. He approached us, grabbed us, and horked in our faces. Not long after that, my friend had expressed to me that he had lost a lawsuit going through a separation because the courts didn't accept that he was in a relationship with the man that he was living with. If you hadn't already noticed, there is a common denominator with all of these situations. They could have all been easily avoided if we could have just shown some love and acceptance. I'm truly hoping that this bench will be a symbol of these things going forward. And maybe one day we can all live without persecution. Thank you again. That was gross. Well, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but after that, um, I wasn't going to bring up any negative stuff, but there was three years ago no to the crosswalk, which I totally understand. Belmont was not ready for it at all. I didn't understand at the time. I understand now. Hopefully this is going to give them a taste of what it's actually like to accept the rainbow. Not just for the LGBTQ plus two S something, <laughs> <laughs> but for everybody. Accept the rainbow, accept the color in your life, and hopefully everybody else will accept us. So thank you everybody. Oh, and by the way, three years ago today was when everybody came and chalked the rainbow. <laughs> three years ago today. Awesome. So, thank you, Cheryl, and the gathering tree. Just take the string off. You might have to lift it to get the... Ready? Everybody ready? Do it! Cake inside, coffee, drinks. So Cheryl, it's a very special day for the community here. It's the unveiling of the rainbow bench at the Gathering Tree. Why did you decide to do this? Well, simply it was time. Uh, you know, I, I saw it online, somebody else had done a bench, and I'd never thought of it before. 
So when I saw it, it's like I knew I could do that and put it on the patio. And it was a real simple decision to tell you the truth. It was not earth shattering. It was just something that happened. And it just took off. We learned today, and I, I don't know if your decision making to hold it on this day had anything to do with it, but apparently it was exactly three years ago today that a group of citizens came out and did a, uh, uh, an unsanctioned uh, chalk uh, rainbow crosswalk right in front of your facility. I know, and I chalked that up to the universe because I had nothing to do with that. I find that amazing. Yeah. You, you That's chalk. A message. That's a message. You chalk it up, no pun intended. I certainly do. <laughs> Who designed the bench for you? Uh, Bruce Riker from from McBride designed the bench. Built it for me. First bench he ever built. Did a wonderful job. And Bruce is also got lots more benches out there so any other businesses or people that would like a bench and to paint it rainbow Bruce will make them for them. I have his cards. And, and how did you decide what to put on the bench in terms of text? I see you have some text there. Well you know once again it was a learning curve for me. I, I first thought the rainbow is seven colors so I had Bruce specifically do seven pieces of wood on the bench and then I started doing research and I started realizing it is only six colors and you have to honor that. And so, you know, what do I do with that last one? And when in my research I started seeing these words come up and it was just perfect to do the words on the front to educate people. Yeah. Well, you spoke very eloquently at the beginning, but I'm going to ask you a personal question. And that's, what does this mean to you? I'm humbled. It meant so much to listen to these people. Uh, my heart goes out to what they've been through. It, it's not right. People deserve to ha be recognized and to be, to be treated like everybody else. And it meant a lot. I can't tell you how much it meant to me to listen to their speeches today and to realize just how powerful this was. Yeah. Well, it really means a lot to me. I grew up in Belmont and when I was a teenager I wasn't really sure if I was going to be accepted or not. Uh, the community has been very accepting of me and my uh, gay marriage. Uh, when I did win my wedding, a lot of the community members voted for me to help me and my husband win our wedding down in Vancouver. Uh, so this is just like another step forward showing that, you know, Belmont is inclusive and they do accept all kinds. Do you uh, look at this as a, as a beginning? Because, you know, obviously we've had a lot of controversy in Belmont in terms of the Rainbow Crosswalk. And, and of course, it's three years today since uh, folks came out and actually chalked a little, a little civic uh, disobedience there and, and did the chalking of the crosswalk. Do you think this is a first step? I, I really do believe it's possibly a first step. I'm really hoping it is. Um, I did see one of the council members here today. I'm hoping that possibly she'll go back. She'll talk to the rest of the council chamber and mayor and really kind of educate and just kind of pass on the message on how much this meant to everybody today. Um, I believe it's probably the first foot into the door. Hopefully one day we'll see a crosswalk here in Velma. If not, Cheryl's done a wonderful thing here today with the gathering tree and getting us a bench. It just shows that, you know, we are an inclusive community here in Belmont and that's why I love Belmont so much. Every, every time I come back, I know I'm welcome here. I know I love the community and if I had it my way, I could live here, but unfortunately work, but. You can't exist with any of these, without any of them. And so and that's why the rainbow is so important yeah. to all of us, is because it symbolizes all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gail and Mandy, uh, it's a great day for the community. We have the bench unveiled here. I want to ask you both, what does it mean to you? It means a great deal. It means that we are showing what a welcoming and diverse, accepting community that we are for the visitors that come through and also it reminds our locals what an awesome community we are as well. Mandy? Well, with what I've gone through in my life, so, uh, the actual symbol of a rainbow means more than I could ever tell you. I've gone through a lot of horrible things and this, this this just lets me know that I am accepted in some places. Not everywhere does. So this, this just gives, give, gives me more of a sense of acceptance. Let me ask you both this question. What does the, the symbol of a rainbow bench, because I, I hear it getting uh, taken over by other people and, and spoken about in other things. What does it mean for the LGBTQ plus community? 
I missed a T in there. <laughs> LGBTQ2+. Plus. Um, well, the rainbow has, for a long time, as Cheryl put it in her speech, has signified the, for the gay community acceptance and welcoming. Um, and that's what it means for me. Um, any, any people coming through this community will now see that there's a rainbow bench here. You're accepted. Um, there's no fear of anything happening to you while you're here. Um, that's what it means to me. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. What about as, as a community? Do you think this is a, uh, a baby step in the right direction? Oh, for sure. Absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. For sure. Um, yeah. This community isn't ready for a rainbow crosswalk. Um, so this is a tiny step in the right direction. There's other steps we can take. And in the, in the future, let's hope this community is ready for a rainbow crosswalk. But for now, let's have the bench and progress from there. Yeah, maybe, maybe next year I can uh, have a little word with uh, the mayor and council to see if we can raise a rainbow flag in the month of June, which is Pride Month worldwide. Not just Canada, worldwide. And let's hope one, one June the rainbow flag will fly in Vermont. And I asked Cheryl this because uh, she, was, she, she wasn't aware of it. And I think a lot of people were surprised that it's exactly three years mm -hmm. today yes. that the uh, citizens got together and, and crossed, uh, chalked up their own rainbow crosswalk. Yes. Yeah, that was an amazing evening. Um, we couldn't take part at the time because we were permanent residents, um, so we have to behave ourselves. But it was an amazing evening to see the community come out and, and just do that. Uh, unfortunately, it was uh, it was stopped, but it was stopped right at the end, so it had already taken place. Uh, coincidences happen for a reason, maybe? Absolutely, they do. I was hoping for a rainbow in the sky today, too, but I... I you, you it doesn't matter. We don't <laughs> need one in the sky we've no got, more. We've, we've got, got, got one here. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh.